I wanted to do a video, uh, I guess, about refrigeration. That's like one of the most desirable things that people try to do off-grid, whether you're uh, in a sailboat, RV in, or purely off-grid in a cabin. So uh, right now I'm doing a little experiment here. Uh, I'm doing my Volkswagen camper bus, and so I'm running a little tiny refrigerator off of a 100-watt panel and a single battery just to see how it does. So this is the charge controller that the uh, solar panel we're looking at outside, 100 watt panel, um, was connected to, and it's connected to one battery. And you can see right now it's at 12.5 volts, which is uh, almost fully charged, but actually it's running a load right now, which is a refrigerator. I can hear it running. And uh, this is the battery. Uh, this isn't ideal for solar, but it's a dual purpose marine deep cycle battery. And uh, it's hooked to this refrigerator, which was my score of the year. Bought this in Richmond, Virginia for $20. I just kept searching Craigslist and looking and looking. And it's actually the one that would fit my van to replace the old Dometic refrigerator. And it's running the Danfoss com uh, compressor. Anything that runs a Danfoss as far as a DC uh, refrigerator is going to be one of your most efficient. And I did some rewiring in the back to slow the compressor down make it a little more efficient. But anyway, this thing's uh, doing great. And at the end of the video, I'll uh, show you what we're doing inside there for uh, load testing. Now, a regular refrigerator, uh, Energy Star, of course, is not a bad option. Uh, up and running, they'll draw about 100 watts, 110, somewhere in there, which isn't too bad. Uh, they don't have the best insulated cabinets in the world, so they will run more often. Uh, more suitable for an off-grid cabin, something like that. Not necessarily a boat or an RV. Where a freezer like this, you're starting to get closer to uh, as efficient as you can get as far as capacity. This is uh, just under 8 cubic feet. This one here is made by Sundanzer. And it's purely 12 or 24 volts. I run it on 12 volt on the uh, my lower battery bank. And the cabinet itself it's just uh, super thick. I don't know if I can give you a scale on how thick the walls are. And uh, I believe it also runs a Dan Foss compressor. I'm not sure about that, but I can't really get it out to tell you unless I empty it. So uh, they do make uh, refrigerators that are purely designed for solar. Uh, one of the problems is, is the cost. But I'll show you some other options, but they're going to be expensive too. And then I'll show you some of the no-no's. So once again, this is uh, mainly I'm going to try to stick with uh, refrigeration and freezing, and this is a fantastic option right here. This is a new uh, Ingle 40 quart uh, refrigerator freezer, and uh, you can uh, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Made by Ingle, uh, not a, not uh, cheap at all, but uh, what a fantastic product and. Uh, Actually, I think they're specialized or they're more tested on the Australian Outback. So uh, one of the incredible things that they will do is they'll maintain, say, well below zero in a 100 degree car, which is incredible. And it'll do it efficiently. But uh, not to just show you a new one, let me show you a really old one. This is a 60 quart one. And uh, this one has spent a lot of its life on boats. And it's had the uh, crap kicked out of it. And... Uh, they've held together well and uh, when you uh, Google and go looking for these things and and you get your sticker shock um, just remember this is more like an heirloom there's a uh, you'll find some videos on YouTube of these things that have been running for 40 years in fact Engel themselves they recommend if you're not going to use it to use it at your house plug it into the wall and one cool thing about these things is you can plug them into the wall and hook them to 12 volt at the same time and if the uh, mains or 120 volt current kicks out for any reason, the uh, it'll go straight to 12 volt, which is uh, really cool. They also make some uh, insulation for them to make them more efficient. So uh, think of more of an heirloom, but they are expensive. So now one of the things that's really popular uh, this day and age is uh, the technology that's in that wine cooler right there, which uh, I believe it's called a Peltier cooler. I, I didn't really prepare for this. I never script anything, uh, but I do have one. And you'll also see them in a lot of uh, portable refrigerator, and they'll call them like a like a cooler warmer, uh, that kind of thing. 
and uh, one of the problems they are not efficient at all if you have one you know they're great if you're running your engine traveling whether you want to heat and cool and that kind of thing but if you want to talk about hooking one to solar it's just not really an efficient option now they do put them in like cooking stoves and fans and things like that that'll uh, you know run a fan uh, that's a cool useful one but refrigeration in my opinion is uh, just not a good one just not efficient enough also the angles and uh, even that uh, Dometic back there they'll operate uh, at uh, leaning degrees not temperature degrees but actually leaning a vehicle or leaning the cooler itself to 30 degrees and uh, that's something to consider if you're uh, doing a boat or an RV so one question I get all the time is uh, trying to size up a system uh, what do I need to do this and do that uh, and to be honest with you I just can't answer that question because I don't know enough about it I don't know where you live I don't know how many trees you got and I don't know exactly what you're trying to run but as a as a real basic number what I would be comfortable with uh, in, in almost any zone say two of these panels which would be 200 watts and those are the Renogies uh, they're not the cheapest per watt but I think it's a great deal off of Amazon and this and maybe two golf cart batteries or two of those sun extenders or maybe some Trojan T105s would be a fantastic combination so you'd have your refrigeration your solar your batteries and obviously you could throw in your phones and and uh, maybe a little TV and some lights be a nice little off-grid setup so you don't need a lot but unfortunately light bulbs are getting cheaper but refrigeration specialty stuff like 12 volt is uh, not getting cheaper by any means so they do make travel bags for uh, both the 40 quart uh, this one they also make dual zone angles um, and this one here is going to be built in and I'm actually going to insulate around it and like I said it's running off that battery there and Dan Foss and I got it for twenty dollars off Craigslist if you want to search and see where they are new they don't make them anymore not this model they make a lot of stuff but they don't make this built-in one anymore and uh, the stress testing I'm doing oh yeah Look at that. I have rewired and put LED bulb in there. She's nice and bright. Well, anyway, I hope that helps. And uh, maybe it'll help you with uh, doing some of your refrigeration, whether you're uh, RVing, sailboating, or trying to run an off grid cabin or something. So, you guys have a good one, and we'll uh, see you next time.